Radical. I am grinning ear to ear. You know why? I saw some footage from GTA 6, baby. I mean, it's not official footage. They're working on the game. It's not finished. It's pre-alpha, beta, alpha, beta, whatever you want to call it. I'm not a game developer. But that is GTA 6. I'll try to leave a link to what I saw, which was actually from a channel where they uploaded, I think, a lot more footage. But Take-Two is doing the DMCA takedowns, which is probably what they should do because it's their game. It's, it's their game, so I could see why they want to uh, take down the footage, early footage from GTA 6. I mean, it's not ready. It's not preview ready. You can, you can tell it's clearly rough around the edges. For those of you that are wondering, and going to leave comments how there's no proof that's GTA 6, Okay, now we're not talking about a simple, simple video game. We're talking about something like a world that would take a ton, a ton of effort and man hours to build. I mean, the scale of the world here, this, this is a GTA world. You can tell the little details. I've played all of Rockstar's games, basically, so I could tell that this is GTA 6. Am I excited? Fuck yeah, I'm excited. Do I think that this is a a giant leap forward? We'll see. There are certain things I notice, little details I love about this, which is the fact that you can go back into buildings. You can enter buildings, which really adds to the world. I love the fact that you can go into buildings in this one. In the diner, there's a female character. That's a big change also for the game. Supposedly, it's going to be a Bonnie and Clyde type story with a male and female protagonist. The female character was wearing some mom jeans and a pink sweater. Okay. So, I don't know if that's the standard clothes or if you could actually go and change the clothes as usual. So, yeah, there's that. She was holding someone up in a store. And little details about, like, the hold up. Seems far beyond GTA 4 or 5, a lot of this, even though it's an alpha stage. Looking at it, the graphics and just everything looks far beyond, uh, or the animations, the emotions of the characters look far beyond GTA 5. One detail that I loved was the fact that the cops do not enter the diner and start shooting. So this seems to be a big a big push for realism, which I'm all for, you know, there's a lot of arcadey games where the cops just go wherever, or they might run over someone on the way to get to you. It's not realistic. So I really appreciate that attention to detail. Oh, I'm reading something here. I think Rockstar actually did confirm this. I think they did. I don't have an official statement from anyone at Rockstar, but uh, I'm reading this guy, the Sunsider Jason Schreier, said that they all but confirmed it one last thing i want to note of note is the inventory system it looks like the female was carrying a long gun uh, across her shoulder on her back and then she had a handgun so maybe the inventory system is more simplistic again with that push towards realism that they're trying to go for which i'm all for it's different and everything It'd be nice if maybe they actually had different options in the game to where you could actually choose realistic or arcadey. That would be a first. I mean, because in like Saints Row and GTA, you seem to have invisible pockets. Unlimited pockets where you can put all the guns. But it's not realistic. Now, what's going to be a bummer is if you're used to having all these different guns and there's no way to easily access the guns. I think the solution might be to actually be able to utilize your vehicles as possible storage. Imagine how awesome that would be to be able to open up a vehicle and take a gun and just throw it in the back, throw it in the bed, you know, driving around seeing all your weapons go back and forth in the bed of a truck. That'd be fucking awesome. And if it's one thing that GTA has always been about, it's about been pushing 
the boundaries of what's possible in a video game. 